But first, he's heading to Adelston in Surrey, where he's going to meet heavyweight bruiser Lennox. A bulldog who thinks with his stomach. Oh, Lennox. Anything that he's not allowed to have, he would like to have. Miss you, mate. And this dog truly doesn't miss an opportunity to eat. Lennox, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Lennox has just taken someone's lunch. Extremely embarrassing. I think he actually got the guy's hand. Come on, Lennox. He's very strong. Come on. Without the prospect of food... Lennox, not in the road. ..walks with owner Chloe come to a grinding halt. He wants to go to the pub. Lennox, no! Lennox, no! Lennox! That's my lunch gone. Chloe knew she was taking on a handful when she first got him as a pup. No! He was the naughtiest of the bunch, and that's why I decided to pick him. Look <laughs> it! I'm regretting that a little bit now. This is why we don't bring Lennox out. Mum and Molly have gone. Hi, Graham. Hello, Chloe. Nice to meet you. Thanks You're for right? coming. Come That's on all right. in. You're very welcome. Cheers. Lennox. Oh, I'm <laughs> Lennox. Get down. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you did have a cup of tea and a plate of biscuits, Thank Graham. Thank you very much. Well, I was going to ask what's the problem, but uh, <laughs> what's interesting about that is and there's no hint of remorse or... Oh, no, and he'll keep going. If I was to put more down, he'd eat it again. Yeah, yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love a cup of tea, yeah. Um, you... And unfortunately, I can't offer you any more biscuits that I have put out. Lennox, you're a bad boy. I like a custard cream as well. And so does Lennox. Yeah, no, I noticed. <laughs> Having already got a taste of Lennox's enormous appetite, Graham is eager to find out more about his food fixation. Right. Whenever it's about, he wants to get it. He's stolen an ice cream from a child and an adult, and I'm worried for a small child he could knock them over. How do people react? They're normally quite scared of him. He's quite a powerful dog, and, yeah, not very happy when their ice cream's on the floor. Or inside a dog. <laughs> I can cure this dog's food obsession easily by teaching him the meaning of the word off. And to do this, I'm going to use a plate of sausages. I'm going to put some food down on your table. When he goes for it, cos he will, I'm going to use a command off with a tone of voice that really suggests exactly that. And to reinforce the word off, like, Whoa. Graham is going to use a visual signal to underline it. So as it starts to come down, it's like, ah, off. Oh, good boy. That's very good. To incentivize Lennox to obey the command, Graham has another trick up his sleeve. Up here, I've got some chicken. So I'm watching him like a hawk right now, ready to step in if I have to. And I pick up a bit of chicken. If he does what I want, off, and backs off. Oh, look, he sat down. Good boy. Right, what's this? So far, he's resisted temptation. But will that continue when Graham steps right out of the way of the sausages? If he goes forward, I'm going to step in and tell him off. So his little doggy brain goes, don't go to the sausages, listen to off, do sit. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, good boy. Oh, my God, that's absolutely amazing. 